abstract bamboo paintings. Um, real simple method. It's a lot of fun. I suggest if you're going to do one of these, you put your apron on because you're going to do some splashing and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very abstract. And this is one that I did the other day and I really liked it, so I wanted to share this technique with you all. Um, what I'm this is a good way to use up some maybe old canvas that um, maybe you did a painting and you, didn't, you weren't quite happy with it and now you want to do something abstract and fun on it. So what I did is I took an old canvas and covered it with some titanium white Liquitex paint just gave it a good coating over an old painting that I really wasn't going to do anything with. And let's see. Um, let it dry really good. And I use a kind of uh, canvas that has staple free edges so you can hang it right on the wall. So now that my titanium white coating is dry, what I'm going to do is do some. I'm just going to fill up the whole canvas with color. And that's really the first layer that we're going to do. So I'm going to take my brush, and I've got a nice palette here of colors of different types of, of Liquitex paint. I use the soft body for my acrylic painting. I really like it because it's, it's smooth, and, it, and it, I don't work real thick. I work more in layers, so I really like the soft body. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a big old brush, and I'm just going to start laying in some colors. And it doesn't really matter where and what. Just have fun because we're going to end up making some cool bamboo. Add some water. Let me get my white open here. Probably going to add some white every now and again. I'm just using up an old, almost done, completed jar of white paint. So I'm just going to go right in there with the white. Let these colors just blend. I'm just going to Fill it up, all different crazy colors, and feel free to just go right over the edge, you know, paint the edges as you're going, might as well, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to, we're going to make some crazy shapes, we're even going to, we're even going to splash some paint on here, let's see, let's get some crazy color here to splash, like I said, wear your apron on this one, so I'm just going to splash color, put it on all over the place. I want this to be some really vibrant, fun bamboo. And let's see. And you can make colors going, you know, anywhere. It doesn't have to be all up and down. I would say put, because this is going to be like the basis for some shadows and, and things that are going to go in there. But maybe this first coat, just try to use um, colors that go well together. If you start adding a lot of complementary colors, like reds and greens and blues and oranges, you, at this point you're going to make a lot of mud. So what I'm trying to do is stick with uh, complementary colors, colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. I mean, excuse me, not complementary, analogous. So you like red, orange, yellow, pink, that kind of color scheme for this layer. Okay. This is a nice alizarin and crimson. I love that nice deep, deep red. I like that with some orange, orange, yellow in there. Paint that area up. And the reason I'm mainly going up and down like this is because that's the direction that the bamboo is going to go in my painting, so... Should have done one the other way. That would have been interesting too. Let's see, I'm getting off track here, so you guys can see. Put some more pinks. So I'm going to go ahead and keep filling this up for a minute, and then I'm going to show you some other cool stuff. We're going to do some. Get this 
whole thing filled up a bit. My fingers are going to get all painty, but that's okay. Good to get something on there anyways. We're going we're gonna to do several layers, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get something on here that we can work with. Okay, here's some good stuff. So before it dries, what you want to do is to create some texture. I just got some old newsprint. I'm just going to crinkle it up like that. And I'm just going to lay it down and kind of pull it off. See how that creates some nice texture? And even kind of acts as a stamp. Kind of pulling off some of the paint. Who knows, might make some really neat designs here. On the side. It doesn't have to be you know all over the place. So that's that. And then I'm going to use a little bit of a sea sponge. I'm going to get it wet, get my sea sponge a little bit moist, dry it off a little bit, and then I'm going to do a little texturing with my sponge. That's another way that you can make texture. This is nice red here. Picked up some green, that's okay. happening here. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to do some more of that pa paper crinkling. Here's some more paper. Mixed out. I just want to create a neat textured canvas. Now I'm going to come and I'm going to do some splattering. So I'm going to take my brush, get it wet, pick up some paint. You want it to be kind of like juicy wet, otherwise it's not going to splatter. Do some splattering. A little bit darker color there. Maybe some dark purple would be nice. There we go. Nice splattering happening here. I like that. So I've created this neat canvas that's got a lot of neat texture and design and colors. And what I'm going to do is stop the camera now, and I'm going to dry it really good with a hair dryer, and then we'll come back and we'll do step number two. Wow, look at all the nice color we have there, and a lot of texture, splashing. I can see almost all kinds of designs here. So the next part of our step to make bamboo is what we're going to do is we're going to cover up some of what we've done here with some blue painter's tape. This is the kind of stuff you get at the hardware store. And um, we're going to mask off our actual kind of bamboo area. So I'm going to look for some areas that I see that I like, the, the way it looks like bamboo. I see one area in here, so I'm going to take a piece. I'm going to start masking this off. Like that. And you can, and you can vary the thickness by using more than one strip. You can make some wider some narrower. So there's like one bamboo there, I see. And I want to get them going kind of different ways and different thicknesses. So maybe I'll put one here. And let's see. I see one kind of coming in from the side like this. cover up some areas here. So then we can paint some of the background crazy again. In a crazy, crazy way. Maybe I see another bamboo kind of coming in like this. Got one. I don't know 
all going the same way, so I'm going to get some going differently. I see a real thick, thick one here. Seven bamboos kind of going here. Just to kind of mask off. Okay. So now we're going to go back to painting our in our crazy, crazy way with all the stuff in there. So make sure all your edges are good and locked in. So now what we're going to put down is basically going to be in the background. So we can go with some more maybe some contrasting colors. Maybe you can start getting in some darks and some greens. I like that. I said don't forget to paint your edges a little bit. There's some green. Contrasting colors. I can go over with the same colors too. This is going to be more, like I said, the background. So usually in the background of the bamboo forest, it's a little bit darker. But there's going to be some light coming in. I kind of like some of this orangey area, reddish area in here. Some dark on this side. Let's see. Give us some pinks. And again, it can do some splattering. We can do some crinkling again. And basically maybe come in and make shapes that are like leaves in the background or other types of bamboo that are forming. Just getting in some another layer of paint. It's getting kind of muddy right there. Another sponge and wipe some of that off. Like I said, now you can even come in with a sponge and create some more texture. Different ways to make texture. We can do the crinkle paper again. Crinkle some more paper up. Pull it off. goes and let's see maybe do some more splatter let's go maybe with some blue splatter see what happens here some, maybe like some of the green spongy kind of look like vegetation in the background. Let's see. Add some more colors. We're just having fun. And all kinds of stuff. Now let's get in there and maybe add some lines. I like this purple. I can just add some random kind of brush strokes. Maybe it's some kind of leaf things happening in the background. Let's take some white now. 
I'll see what we got. Take some white and we'll do some brush strokes too with, with the white. It'll pick up some of the colors that we've already got and create some neat little texture things happening here. Some fresh white. Some more of this hot pink, one of my favorite colors. If your brush gets too muddy, just rinse it out, you know, wipe it off and start again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, stop the camera again, and I'm going to take this over to the hair drying station and let it dry. And um, see, and then we're gonna peel off the tape and see what we got.